The more scientists study about the planets beyond our solar system, the more they realize how unique our own solar system is. Our planets are arranged with the smaller, rocky inner planets closer to the Sun and the large gas giants further out. Scientists predicted that this might be the most common arrangement around other stars too, the moment they began studying exoplanets in earnest about two decades ago. However, it's become clear that this is not the case. There are many weird and unusual worlds that have been found outside our blue home planet that seem to break every physical law you could think of. Scientists have found thousands of exoplanets, and the number keeps growing daily. The focus, of course, is to find a habitable planet that could support life, just like our Earth. But in that process, they found some really strange worlds. In which of the world could you take the coolest photos? Meet HD 189773b. This planet is classified as a hot Jupiter, which means that it's a gas giant just like Jupiter, though it orbits much closer to its host star than Jupiter. It is the closest hot Jupiter to Earth, sitting only 64 light years away. It means light from this planet reaches the Earth in only 64 years, a very short time on the astronomical scale. Although this planet looks like a gorgeous blue marble floating serenely in space, in reality it is extremely dangerous. The planet's dreamy blue color is actually the reflection of an unimaginable amount of silicate in its atmosphere. And do you know what happens when you combine the planet's 1,300 Celsius temperature with the massive amount of silicate in the air? The silicate forms grains of glass floating in the air freely and blown by the winds going 8,700 kilometers an hour. The result is a planet that constantly rains glass sideways. How cool is that? If you try to step foot into this planet before you got shredded by its glass rain, you will be melted by its super-hot volcanic temperature. Therefore, if hell exists, this must be it. However, even though HD 189773b is extremely hot, it's not the hottest place ever discovered. That title belongs to another Jupiter-type planet, known as Kelt 9b. The temperature on its surface is so off the charts that it's even hotter than most stars. Its orbit is so close to its star that its surface burns at 4,300 Celsius. Because it's so hot, it has molten iron and titanium in its atmosphere. Yeah, the very same material the Army uses on their aircrafts. Speaking of hot planets, there's another interesting hot planet that seems to be defying the laws of physics. This planet is called Gelisae 436b is located just 30 light years away from Earth. The planet orbits its star at a distance 15 times closer than Mercury orbits the Sun. One year there is equal to just 2.6 days on Earth. However, its surface temperature is not really hot compared to the two planets mentioned before, measuring at only 439 degrees Celsius. Nothing very special is going on here. Although what's interesting, however, is that the hot planet is covered in ice. How does this planet have water remain frozen at 439 degrees above its melting point? In a heat like that, even lead will melt, but water is solid here. How come? The answer is that scientists believe that because gravity is so incredibly strong on its surface that it literally compresses the trace amount of water vapor in the planet's atmosphere into solid ice, which prevents it from melting no matter how much it burns. So even a tourist clad in heat-resistant spacesuit will break their legs here. 55 Cancri E While the previous planet is covered in ice, 55 Cancri E is covered in something much more precious. 55 Cancri E is a super-Earth located just 40 light-years away from Earth. It is twice as large as Earth and has eight times the mass of Earth. It is thought to be so abundant in carbon that its surface is made of diamond, thanks to the immense pressure and 2,700 Celsius temperatures. Imagine finding diamonds just as you walk around the surface of this planet. But don't get too excited just yet. New research has found that there's less carbon than originally thought. Although the original study revealed exciting possibilities, the nature of 55 Cancri E is still contested. The planets we've mentioned so far orbit so close to their host star that a year there equals just a few days on Earth. However, this next planet is a complete exception. HR 5183b takes 74 years to orbit once around its host star. But what's strange about this planet is not its long orbit or its mass. After all, Uranus takes 84 years for one rotation. The fact that sets HR 5183b apart 
is that it has a bizarre orbit which sees it loitering on the outer reaches of its solar system before slingshotting into the center, passing a hair's breadth from its host star before peeling away again. This weird orbit has earned it the nickname the Whiplash Planet. It has also been linked to a wrecking ball for its likely devastating effect on any other planets in the system that are trying to orbit quietly in a more orthodox fashion. How will the world end? While many experts believe that the Sun will eventually gobble up the Earth billions of years in the future, the discovery of WASP-12b provided them with their first glimpse of our ultimate fate. WASP-12b orbits closer and closer to its host star that it's close to meeting its demise. The planet, located 600 light-years from Earth, is spiraling inexorably inwards towards doom at the hands of its yellow dwarf host star. Research has shown that the planet, located in the Auriga constellation, is now so close that it's begun wobbling and distorting under the spell of the star's gravity, and now it's shaped like an egg. Therefore, if you tried to jump standing on the convex side of the planet, you wouldn't fall, but instead, the star's gravity will pull you into the abyss of outer space. Intense stellar radiation has also caused it to swell up so much that it's falling apart. It's estimated to meet its demise in 3 million years. The thought that we would share the same fate is terrifying, isn't it? These exoplanets may be scary and inhospitable, but at least they all reliably do one thing, orbit their star. Or do they? Have you ever wondered whether there are planets that don't orbit a star at all? Well, the answer is yes. These rogue planets are actually roaming the galaxy untethered. Life is dark and freezing for these wanderers lost in the darkness of space with no parent star to illuminate and warm them. 550 light years away, in the constellation Chameleon lies OT44, which is one such planet. This nearly invisible dot amongst the stars is an unusual rogue planet. Although this object doesn't have its own star, the sky around it isn't as all as dark as it might seem. Bright flashes light it up every now and then. The thing is, this rogue planet is 11 times more massive than Jupiter, and its magnetic field is 200 times more powerful. And this is what creates regular light shows featuring northern lights. Catching sight of these hard-to-detect rogue planets will be one of the tasks for NASA's Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, coming around 2025. While these rogue planets are hard to detect because of how dark they are due to the lack of a host star around them, there are planets with active host stars that are equally dark. In 2011, NASA's Kepler Space Telescope identified the darkest known exoplanet, TRES-2b, when it was passing in front of its star. It is located 750 light-years away in the direction of the constellation Draco and only reflects 1% of any light that shines on it. For comparison, the Earth reflects half of the Sun's light. It's basically a demon planet. It's so black, you can hardly make out its shape. Astronomers aren't entirely sure what accounts for its darkness, but it could be that it lacks reflective clouds or has light-absorbing chemicals in its atmosphere. Our universe is filled with some of the strangest planets compared to our average solar system. It's amazing how different the universe is from the one we know, and these planets remind us that there are still so many secrets waiting to be uncovered. Fortunately, on the planet Kepler 438b, located almost 500 light-years away from Earth, you'll feel right at home, as this is in fact another Earth. The exoplanet receives 40% more light than our home planet receives from the Sun. It is about the same size as Earth and has mass that's only 1.4 times that of Earth, though a year only lasts 35 days on this super-Earth. Later research, unfortunately, suggested that the planet's whole atmosphere may have been stripped away by a powerful solar flare. But life as we know it definitely needs an atmosphere to shield itself from the star's deadly radiation. However, the hunt for life outside the Earth will always continue, and with more advanced telescopes coming our way, the hunt will get more interesting than ever. So, what do you think about these strange planets? Do you know of other strange planets we haven't mentioned? Do you think the human race will ever be able to travel to other planets outside the solar system? Tell me in the comments section below. Consider subscribing to the channel if you liked the video, and as always, thanks for watching.